Hello, this is Chris back again with another video. And you know what? I lost my propeller key for the Para Bebop drone. Well, I did for this one, but I have it for the Para Bebop too. But just imagine, you know, it goes down the drain, you misplace it. I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, you, you can't really use an Allen wrench on this. I guess you can jerry rig something. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of people on the Parrot uh, forums that are complaining about that, that they should have a, a better way of, uh, you know, getting these uh, little propeller keys. Well, I have a solution, so. This is my solution. Um, this guy really designed this well. I'm going to give him props if it works. I've gone through a couple propeller keys and uh, I don't know, maybe something went wrong with my 3D printer. Maybe there was something wrong with the actual print. Who knows? But um, I really like this because it has a long handle and um, Last time I printed a raft underneath it so it would stick better, but this guy said he didn't need a raft, and I didn't need support. But anyway, uh, hopefully this works, and I can give this guy some props and maybe even tip him. The other thing is, uh, he also has a wall bracket that you can 3D print and then mount it to the wall. I think that is so cool, and... Um, I really want this to work. I really do. Okay, so here's the actual key, and it's just like the original, right, and it does work. So let's get this on there. Let's tap that so you can focus it. All right, so I'm going to line it up, and there you go. Took it off, and let's put it back on. All right. And let's twist that sucker. Okay. So first I want to give this guy props. It does work. It's uh, actually quite good. I do need to sand it a, a bit more. Um, it, you know, it, it's a normal thing. After you print, you tend to have to sand a little bit. But hey, I'm really glad that it works because I had a couple fails and um, this is actually even better than the other ones uh, because of how long it is right here. So if size means anything, right? Longer is better, ladies. Anyway, so I did not do 50% infill, I did 100% and I think that's what this means. So I'm going to do a quick translation for this guy. Well, Google is, since I'm not German. So let's copy that, and I think, oh yeah, I printed, or I didn't print, I copied that before, I guess. All right, so Bebop 2 protocol. I was tired of breaking my fingers 
on the unwieldy bump, especially when the outside temperatures are a bit lower, it is annoying. Therefore, here's a tool with a handle. So very cool, man. And uh, um, anyway, I downloaded it and I want to tip the designer. All right, sign in. So these are the little things that I like doing. It's, uh, when they do a good job, I like to tip. All right. So, so to conclude, this propeller key tool, whatever you want to call it, will work for not only the Parabebop 1, but also for the Parabebop 2. The only thing that I had to do was sand the bottom, and I am going to sand the sides. This is a normal thing that you have to do for uh, 3D prints and everything. Um, I want to give this guy props, and uh, I think I already did that in this video, but if I forgot, uh, go tip him, and uh, maybe he'll print some uh, propeller keys for you. Or uh, when I set up a profile on here, I'll, I'll leave a, a link to that in the video description. So if you want any of these printed, uh, I could probably print them for you. Uh, and I'm limited to one uh, 3D printer at the moment. So um, yeah, if you lose any of your uh, propeller keys, well, never fear, don't sweat it. Uh, there is a solution. So I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe.